Ben's filling up the water right here. I love springs. Naturally, they filter the water pretty well. Then you add in a water container that filters the water even more, and the water just tastes so good. You ready to leave or you wanna stay out here? Pretty cool forest, huh? I really enjoyed exploring this forest. It really reminds me of the Pacific Northwest. It's got that rainforesty vibe, nice and cool. Really wet though, so we're ready. Really happy we stopped at the laundromat yesterday and got our sleeping bags dry, got all our gear dry. And now today, first off, we're heading into town, getting all these videos uploaded, going to the gym, shower. And then second off, we're gonna be heading to the meetup location for the Jay Jamboree to make sure it's a good spot. Massachusetts is a little bit more strict, just in general, with laws, I'm finding out. And some locals let me know that you gotta be really careful with going off the trails. Even the bypasses on the trails might be private land. So I just wanna make sure that we're good to go this weekend. I don't wanna get any of us in trouble. So we're gonna go check that out today and make sure it's a good spot. I think we just ran into someone that follows the channel. I just met Jane here. She lives in Amherst, Massachusetts. My son has an XJ98. He redid it. He's 17. He welds. He does him and his friends. It's called Mud Hogs Off Road. So they Mud go off roading off. with their Jeeps. And we've been following you guys' adventures. It's awesome. And I just saw them on the road. And I figured I had to turn around and Great. say hi. I'm glad you flagged us down, Jane. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Well, good luck with your adventure. Thank you. I appreciate it. You got it. See you, Jane. Jane, you seem like a really nice lady. Thanks for flagging us down and saying hi. <laughs> Where Jade is parked is the entrance to Old Florida Road, and those are the coordinates that I gave you guys. But I just walked it and probably gonna have to find a new location. My main goal to Jade Jamborees is to meet you guys, to do a food drive, and to get out and do some kind of adventure. That being said, I'm responsible for the event. So I'm really happy I came and checked this place out because it's definitely gonna be a little bit too gnarly for stock vehicles and had a lot of you guys reach out to me and ask if stock vehicles could do it. And my response was, well, there's bypasses around the hard obstacles. Well, I'm glad that you locals reached out to me and let me know that the bypasses on this trail are actually private property. So, it doesn't really work. We also end up having a lot of first time off-roaders or just inexperienced drivers in general coming out, which is great because you gotta learn sometime. But learning on an extreme trail like this, not probably the best. So I obviously don't want to get 50, 60 plus vehicles out here. People getting stuck, you know, and then people doing bypasses or who knows what. And, you know, getting the police called or whatever. We've been getting quite a bit of rain out here too. So it's definitely wet. And there's definitely going to be some pretty decent slipping on these rocks. This bypass, which most likely is on private property, ends up just coming to a halt. Doesn't look like it's been used much. And this is the bypass, straight mud. We'd all be street parking as well. Not a good idea. There really isn't a whole lot of spots to off-road in Massachusetts. This is gonna be one of the harder states, but if I can at least find somewhere for us all to meet up and hang out for a bit, try to do some camping, that's a plan. But it's just one of those things, you gotta do the best you can. A dedicated group trail run with, you know, Fewer vehicles, maybe 10 or so would be one thing, but trying to cram in 50 plus vehicles, figuring out a place to park, a lot of the vehicles being stock, a lot of the drivers being inexperienced, you're just kind of asking for some trouble. And all the bypasses being that it's private property, probably should find a new place. 
big storm coming tonight. Gotta stake down Java. But at least we got Java. I'd like to thank Ethan Elkin Frankston for recently becoming a new Patreon pledge. Ethan, really appreciate what you're doing, helping us out, keeping us on the road. Thanks, man. That lovely lady Jane we met earlier did warn us that a tornado might come. So we might get blown away tonight. If there's tornado sirens going off, we ain't gonna hear them in Java. I can't hear anything. You probably can't even hear me.